Directual Basics. Let's have a look at parts of a modern app that was built on Directual. These are the back end and front end. The back end contains the database and business logic, and the front end is the user interface, which can be built either with Directual or external systems, or even using traditional programming. Third party services like messengers, payment systems, or the Internet of Things can also be connected to your app on the platform. The connection is established through the API and not directly through the database. Similarly, your app's back and front ends are connected through API endpoints configured in Directual's API Builder. There are two types of request for API endpoints. One, post request. When an interface or external system creates a new object in the database. And two, get request. This happens when an external system reads an object from the Directual database. If we need to address an external system that has API endpoints, we can implement the logic with Directual scenarios. In this case, a scenario that triggers an event or runs on a schedule will access the external system's API endpoints and get a response that will be used further in the app's business logic. That's a general scheme for an app built on Directual. Now let's see how it all looks in the interface on the platform. You can find a list of all applications in the My Applications section. The Learn and Support section contains video tutorials and links to all our communities, where experienced Directual users will always be happy to help. The Billing section contains financial information, such as payment methods, all future payments for your applications and teams, and transaction history. You can add funds to your account by credit card, cryptocurrency, or a promo code. All new users can utilize the Welcome promo code, which will increase your balance by 50 D coins, which is equivalent to $50. All platform users can become members of the affiliate program and get a reward by using a unique link to invite other users. The My Plugins section contains information about all the platform plugins you've developed. The What's New section shows new, freshly baked features and provides a link to the platform roadmap, where you can see what's being prepared for release and planned for the future. Here, you can also cast a vote for your favorite or most useful feature. By the way, that platform roadmap was made entirely on Directual. Next on the main page is the My Teams section. This is a special feature designed for agencies and freelancers. All right, let's create a new app. First of all, choose a system name, which must be unique and can't be changed later. This name is also the web address in the Directual app area. You can choose one of the templates, such as a marketplace or user portal, or create an empty app. Then you have to choose a billing plan, for example, you can choose a free plan with some limits or any other suitable plan. Now let's have a look at the interface for the app settings. The database as part of the back end is in the third tab. This is where all the system data structures and other tables that we'll create are stored. Next comes the business logic, which can be found in the scenarios tab. Here you can create scenarios for real-time or scheduled data processing. The front end builder is in the second tab. Here you can create pages for your application using the drag and drop editor. All pages created with the editor will be easy to follow on both desktop and mobile. Next is the API tab. Here you can create access points to certain data structures. Webhooks are used for integration with external devices. You'll find them in the API tab too. There are also many other useful features, 
including version management and plugins, integration with external services that are already pre-installed, such as email, messengers, authorization plugins like MetaMask or Facebook.